Welcome back on and it's filling a deep raised bed like this one which soil is not cheap. If I had to fill this with premium soil it would cost me close to $800. Because you have to remember this is like 8 foot long, 4 foot wide and 2 foot tall. So today I want to show you how to save 60 to 90 percent of the cost to fill your raised bed like this while having the same or even better quality than if you had just filled this with regular premium store bought soil. So how I'm going to fill this raised bed is using a method called Hugoculture. It consists of any biomass that you have available to combine to make a mound where you then plant in it. The fungi and the bacteria breaks down the organic matter which makes it more bioavailable to the plant. The first layer to fill this deep raised bed is cardboard and you can get this in any big box stores. The cardboard will keep the weeds down for at least two to three years and trap the nutrients in which we will need for the upper top layers. The cardboard will attract a bunch of earthworms into this bed which will help in the decomposition of the materials that we're putting into it. The next layer to filling this deep raised bed is leaves. I still have some leaves collected so I'm gonna fill about two to three inches of this raised bed with the rest of the leaves. Now if you don't have leaves, you could use some half broken down manure, straw or hay, You can even use weeds. When you're putting weeds into the raised bed, make sure to put it upside down so it has a least likely chance for it to shoot up and grow through the raised bed. So I got some chicken manure in this wheelbarrow from the chicken yard. So it will help add nitrogen for all the organic matter like the leaves and the hay to decompose down. Chicken manure are one of the highest sources of nitrogen and other goodies. The chicken manure will also have a ton of organic matter to help build soil life. We don't want to add too much manure because we don't want it to heat up and compost to create heat inside this raised bed. So we're going to add about another 2 to 3 inches. The chicken manure is also help weighing down the leaves so it doesn't create too much air pocket. All the stuff that we're adding into this deep raised bed will be broken down by the fungi, microbes, and the earthworms and help make the nutrients more bioavailable to the plants. I'm gonna get inside of here and try and mass it down because we don't want it to create air pockets like I said earlier on. Now the next layer is where the big benefit comes and that is rotten wood. Let's throw this in. Heavy. Oh, that's the big one. The wood acts like water battery banks to collect water in the wet season, like in the spring, and store it for the dry season. When the plant's roots go down to search for water, it could then use the water the rotten wood has collected. This will also mean less water and overall the plants will be much more healthier. Now although wood will absorb the nitrogen, which is why we added the chicken manure at the bottom, when the wood has fully rotten out, the wood will release back all the nutrients and nitrogen for the roots to take up and over time it will also turn into fluffy humus soil and improve the soil structure as it decays. In a previous raised bed, we put soft rotten wood that has halfway broken down into the bed. The bed grew some of the best kale and bok soy we ever grown. Next layer we're adding is just a little branch here. Trying to align it. John tried to align it so it wouldn't be taking up this much space. Let's try to get in too. And push it. After the branches, we are going to put some rotten wood, some really rotten wood, like this one right here, it's really rotten and soft and easily breakable. This will decompose relatively quick 
and be a good water value for the plant. I'm kind of staggering the decomposition of the wood as the top will decompose over a few years releasing nutrients for the plants and the big pieces of wood beneath the branches and the rotten, the really rotten wood will slowly decompose over many years providing nutrients for the plants over the long term. As you can see I'm slowly putting the rotten wood down while also pressing it so it won't have large Pockets. The rotten wood at the top will decompose into almost rich soil like humus. Now I'm filling the bulk of the bed with some 10 year old well rotted manure and I'm going to fill it about 10 to 12 inches. You can get it for free or it might cost you a little. You can also fill it with some homemade compost. Depending on your budget you can make a premium soil that's full of nutrients and fill it in. Saving $800 to fill this deep raised bed is awesome and I can grow root crops in here because we have very hard clay ground. So watch this video next to learn how to build a deep raised bed that you can use to grow potatoes in if you have compacted soil.